Hi Stampers, my name is Jill and I'm here to show you on our Watch It Weekly Wednesday blues. I love blues, you can tell by my shirt. Muted blues and bright blues. We have a color refresh with Stampin' Up! right now and there are four new blue colors. So I'm here to show you different combinations with those blues using the textured floral set and they have dyes, so that's a bundle. These are the flowers right here, 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 and here. This is a stem right here. These are like leaves, leaves. So there's two leaves right here. These go on the inside of the flowers and you'll watch as I stamp those. We have three different sayings too. So I'm gonna show you two different color combinations. These are the color combinations that I call the muted blues including the balmy blue, misty moonlight, night of navy, boho, and balmy. Then the bright colors, I use blueberry bushel, azure afternoon, starry sky, and sometimes I add balmy blue in with that. I like to know or point out to you that there's always a dark in each one. So the starry sky becomes our dark and the night of navy becomes our dark. So let me show you the combinations that I came up with. I actually have my stamp pads right here. These are the brights and these are the darks right here on the side. And I'm kind of keeping this balmy blue here for both. So I went ahead and stamped this card using this stamp, which is super simple. Right here, it's two-step stamping and I just want to show you really quick what this looks like. That's the stem of the stamp right there and this is designed to go right over that stem. So I'm going to do it in a little bit lighter color so you can see the contrast. Azure afternoon and you'll notice on the stamp the part that goes up is the end of it and then I'm going to stamp this and it goes right over. It kind of you're going to say oh the top part of this is up the top part of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it down and you'll go, oh, it's not going to fit, but it does. See, see how it all fits in there. And if you're worried about it, start with this first and then take the darker and go. And you can know that this darker fits up here. So, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you decide to do first or second. They, they both work the same. So there's that little flower and the stem. So here is the muted color that I did, the boho. You'll see the boho color is the flower or, or the leaves. You know, you can decide how, you know, if you're making this a flower. And this right here is the bright. I used the blueberry bushel right there. And we have these accents that also coordinate with the boho and the blueberry bushel. Okay, let's take another card. This right here is the balmy blue, right, this color. And I went ahead and did it in the muted colors of the boho blue. So that's how I got the darker, this is boho. Then I took the same one and did it in the brights. This is done with the azure afternoon and the fun blueberry bushel. Those are the two different ones. Okay, let's grab another card. This is the muted, and we have the misty moonlight right here, the boho, and the night of navy. And then I added a little bit of the balmy blue right here. So that's how I got those colors. And I just stamped this one off right here twice, and then I cut it out with the dies, which the dies actually come with the bundle. And they're super cool because you can do so many options, but we're doing simple right here just to show you that. And there's the bright with the azure and the blueberry bushel. I love it. It's just a different look. Okay, I'm gonna stamp one to show you how these go together. So I'm actually gonna do, this is the muted I've already done. So I'm gonna stamp that exact card right here with the brights. 
So let me show you how it works. We'll get the brights all opened. Blueberry bushel is a new color which you'll love. And the azure afternoon. And the starry sky is an in color. So let me go ahead and get those lined up. I'm going to start with the azure afternoon and stamp the main flower in the corner. Full strength. I'm going to do the next flower in the blueberry bushel. And I'm going to do one here in the corner. And they're quite bright because they're brand new pads, but not only that is when they dry, they are a little bit more muted than what you see here. Oops, let's go back because we have um, photopolymer stamps. I could probably line that up, but I didn't put the whole thing down, so we're still missing something. There we go. A little, a little crooked, but it's okay. All right, now we're going to fill in the rest of it. I'm going to take some of the leaves right here, and I'm going to go with the azure, but I'm going to stamp it off a couple times because I just want it to be leaves in the background just a little bit. And I can even go ahead and do that another time even over here. It doesn't matter. You're just filling in your spot right here in the corner. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next one and we can do some leaves, the other leaf right over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the blueberry bushel and we're gonna stamp that off a couple times because remember everything is blue in this card. So you're going to have different hues of blue with the same ones you're working with. So it looks really cool. So much blue and all the different hues. It's really on trend right now in the kind of boho colors too. Looks like we got a little bit there. Okay, so we filled that in a lot. Now we're going to go ahead and do the inside of the flowers. This one is designed right here and it's got this little flower that goes up as the sprig in the middle. So I'm going to take the starry sky, the darkest one, and go ahead and put that in the center. And then I'm going to also do starry sky with the center of these flowers so it's darker. And it's just a bunch of little cross hatches that put the center. Once it dries, you'll be able to see the darker color. Okay, so we've got that. Let's do a saying. The birthday blooms for you. I'm going to do the darkest color. And I'm going to put that right there. Birthday blooms for you. Okay, now I still want to fill in a little bit. There's this little stamp right here that has just the little splatters on it. And you can decide, oh, if I want dark or light. I think I want a little bit in between. So I'm going to take blueberry bushel and stamp it off twice because I kind of want it lighter. Maybe I'll just stamp it off once and then I can use it twice. So this is just a filler that you can use when you're stamping just to fill in the background if you're not sponging or whatever, but you still want the color there. I like that it it's kind of got a point to it so you can decide. And we're gonna go ahead and put it over here because guess what? That spot is right there so it won't matter if it overlaps. So nobody will know we made a mistake there. I love backgrounds. I think they're so cool to be able to fill in what you're doing. Okay, so you can decide to do it as much or as little as you want. And with these blues, look at all that ink on there that's still on there after we stamped it a bunch of times. Okay, we've got our card. Now I want to go ahead and put that right here. But I think we're going to go ahead and use some of the ribbon. Now here's some of the muted ribbon. Right here's two of the muted, but I'm going to use the azure and with the bright and it's got this little um, silver in it, which is really nice to be able to pop with the blue. I'm gonna tie a knot and then we're gonna put some accessories on there. 
that coordinates with this color. Just trim these little flyaways. Okay, and let's grab some of our cool coordinating. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look how good those blues look together. I love how the muted goes really nicely with the muted um, hues that I picked. Let's go ahead and put one up there. So I usually do three on those. And let's put this on the back. And you can tell that, oh, I made a mistake. I was using that for something else. And I decided because it's going to be glued down, nobody will notice that it's in there. OK, we've got the bright and the muted blues. Love those colors. So if you have our other colors already, you're going to want the Misty Moonlight, the Boho Blue, and the Azure, and the Blueberry Bushel. Those are our four new colors in our Color Refresh. You're going to want to order those. They're beautiful. We have cardstock that goes with them, designer series paper. It's wonderful to see all the things that coordinate with our new colors. Make sure you check our blog post on these new layouts with the blues. You'll get some tips and tricks on how to use these. And we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.